but that's what came out here we got the judgment card and the hermit okay so virgo energy showing up very strong um and a judgment card some sort of decision has been made here i feel like virgo possibly and it's affecting someone else like it's really it's really affecting someone else to the core i don't really know how else to put that um or there's some sort of judgment you made during your season in virgo season. pure black magic emphasis on the pure the black and the magic if you're new here welcome my name is d thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel hopefully you find clarity through this message you like the vibe you like the energy and you decide to hit that subscribe button if you are returning super super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel you guys it is always greatly appreciated so surprise surprise pop up reading whatever comes out comes out it is for you my virgo tauruses and capricorns last day of virgo season so happy birthday birthday one last time to my virgos all right um i just saw the empress so libras are ready to come up and through here for sure um so earth signs now okay so i, I got a couple of different channel messages for you so bear with me i was pre-shuffling my own personal deck right and um the energy of the thought process card came out so somebody is in their head about you or you're in your head about about someone or someone is um I saw the fall and winter card too. So kind of like as the seasons change or things are, you know, the weather is getting a lot cooler depending upon where you are. There's someone who's really thinking about you, okay, going into these colder months, these winter months, um, or you are thinking of someone. Um, what else? Crazy enough, the song that I got for you guys is Calling My Phone by Lil TJ. So I'm not sure if I've gotten that song for you guys in particular before, but that's what came out here. We got the judgment card and the hermit. Okay, so Virgo energy showing up very strong um, and a judgment card. Some sort of decision has been made here, I feel like Virgo possibly, and it's affecting someone else. Like it's really, it's really affecting someone else to the core. I don't really know how else to put that. Um, or there's some sort of judgment you made during your season in Virgo season that's just very much so um, like poison or a taste of someone's own medicine to somebody else okay um but yeah call on my phone type energy so i don't know let me know how this is resonating someone whoever's thinking about you could be trying to reach out to you or they may be trying to reach out to you soon we're gonna go ahead and jump into the energy you guys please like the video comment i comment back uh, subscribe and of course share the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more to actually push your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you so I just saw the three of wands which is about reaching out like someone's trying to reach out to you I just don't know if they're actually trying to reach out to you via like in person or messages or phone calls it's almost like somebody is trying to reach out to you um trying to get you to reach out to them or try to reach out to you telep telepathically, okay? Um, and as I'm saying that, I'm noticing this seven of swords here at the bottom of the deck. So something like in secret, like someone could be trying to reach out to you in secret or maybe someone who's not supposed to be reaching out to you or this could be um, like someone's trying to do something without being seen or without being obvious this could also be the energy of some sort of like deception or deceptive person around you here so we got the seven of swords as your overall energy so hidden we'll dig more into it but behind that we got the three of swords here so this is giving me together the ten of swords some sort of ultimate betrayal ultimate defeat here maybe somebody who deceived you is now feeling heartbroken about you okay um, or maybe receiving some sort of karma here, maybe from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or even a Libra, because I get Libra with this particular coin of wands too. Um, somebody who deceived you got their heart broken, okay? Um, and if it's not an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, this is someone who is, it's a feminine energy showing up here, but it is general, so take it how it resonates. Could be a masculine energy, but it's someone who like, is very um out for themselves or selfish or dominant or somebody used someone who did you wrong the same way that they used you 
And now this person is in deep thought about this with the Four of Cups and the King of Cups, thinking about how they should have loved you better, okay, or appreciated you if it's not love, how they should have kind of given you the same loyalty or reciprocity, okay, balance here with the Temperance card. Now they're wanting to balance things out with you. Chariot card, move towards you very fastly here. Fool card, because they're feeling very conflicted here, okay? Um, it's like somebody... Six of Wands, they're seeing you as the prize or the victory. Nine of Swords, very in their head and like um, the like depressed or worried about Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment with you. Four of Pentacles, about them holding back. Somebody's pride and ego getting away. This storyline is like taking off. So let me see. Let's put all of these back at the bottom of the deck. Again, we have the Seven of Swords as your overall energy. Okay, so let's dig into it. I am available for private reading experiences, you guys. So please um, check the description box below. If this resonates with you, any other messages on my channel resonate with you and you're seeking further clarity, okay? Um, first card out is the Eight of Wands. Libra had this energy, okay? I believe the first card out. Um... I think Libra and the, it's something going on collectively because I believe Libra and the water signs had this energy, but communication. Matter of fact, Libra had these first two cards back to back, the eight of wands and the four of swords. Then you have the five of pentacles. So something's going on with the Libra. Maybe you're not open to communicating with the Libra or communication has been stopped or cut off here. Something has been let go of or severed. Okay. Um, something about a home situation or you're feeling like orphaned or left out. Hold on one second, you guys. All right, Earth sign. So yeah, something um, something has you feeling like left out or something about being kicked out is what I'm hearing. Being kicked out, like some something's not available available to you any longer anymore. Um, or you're refusing. Somebody's refusing to leave a situation, and somebody's refusing to accept something as well refusing to let go somebody here let's see i want to say somebody here is stuck so i don't know how that resonates but in the heart of your reading you have the eight of cups here somebody who somebody could be hiding a, a heartbreak or some sort of disappointment disappointment something that's very drastically um, affecting their lives right now, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Somebody could have like on a mask um, and hiding the fact that they are hurt or that they are depressed in a situation. Somebody here is just very much so in a, in a low vibration. Um, so somebody could be communicating to you soon about something that has stopped or drastically changed in their life. Um, something could be affecting their finances, but it feels like their emotional state, their mental state. Um, someone could just be communicating some sort of loss or void or something that's going on in their lives right now or this is you experiencing this okay and the knight of wands like so page of cups eight of cups nine of wands um nine of cups energy here wish fulfillment someone it's like someone's happiness has been taken away in a situation or they're just feeling like hopeless or um i want to say relentless for some reason Nine of Wands. Somebody here, I'm getting battered or beat up. And this can be in any type of form, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally. Like trauma showing up here too. The Tower card, y'all. Like all of the energy down here is very like stressed or stagnant or stuck or lack or conflicts um trauma or like confused distraught okay despair um hopeless um not draining draining but it's almost like um someone is could be in a very needy position like I feel like somebody landed themselves in this position though. Someone here could have like some sort of addictions or drinking issue um, or just reckless. Somebody's reckless behavior because the page of cups can be seen as reckless too. Um, maybe like selfish, immature, impulsive, reckless. Um, 
uh, greedy or just not like empathetic, sympathetic towards others, someone's reckless behavior, reckless decision, eight of wands, it's like it caused the tower moment in their lives. It caused like things to just fall apart. I'm getting the energy of something crumbling here or someone is feeling very low vibrational because things are just crumbling, you know, also in their life. But what else? We got the lover's card here. So it could be, you know, in regards to a love situation, Gemini energy as well. Four, it's a lot of, not a lot, but it's just sticking out very strong air energy in your reading. Um, and the air signs took over the water signs reading too. So something about the energy of Libra, Libra season, okay? A Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius is just shown up here very strongly for the collective. Four of Swords, Eight of Cups. Somebody is regretting holding back from choosing a certain lover, holding back in a love situation, choosing to cooperate, or somebody's like regretting, um, and I don't see the five of cups down here, but somebody is kind of like regretting a choice that they made in love. It feels like somebody like brought this upon themselves, though, is really what I'm getting here. Somebody is just really mentally not okay because of something that happened in a love dynamic here how it didn't work out or how it played out um somebody here is it's just like i'm getting a sense of loneliness too damn and the devil tower card lovers and the devil like there is some sort of toxic attachment here um five of pentacles nine of wands somebody here is very afraid or just skeptical or traumatized by something and i'm feeling love you know from the song that we get and the fact that the lover's card is here but this can be family like a family dynamic you feel like your family dynamic is very toxic something took place here i don't know if this was like an argument or it's heavy y'all and we got the hierophant card right behind the devil for a lot of you guys this is a marriage or once was you know a marriage or a a relationship here two of cups a relationship we got the two of cups here yeah this is love for you guys tower moment lover's card and the devil i don't really know how to take that so some of you guys don't know how to take something or accept something here we got the emperor card at the bottom of the deck okay aries taurus energy four of wands there's something about a masculine figure a father figure and a relationship like a husband the hangman, somebody feels stuck or somebody hung themselves in regards to a relationship. Two of Cups, Knight of Wands. Somebody stepped out on a relationship. There could be a child involved here. Maybe an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, child, two children. Page of Cups. There's a child here. It's two children showing up. A fire sign child with the Page of Wands and then a water sign child with the Page of Cups. Y'all, I can't make this up. And the Empress card. What the hell? The Empress more libra taurus energy knight of swords queen of swords something about a mother also somebody's trying to escape their mom or there's a, a detachment for, from their mom or something about somebody's mom okay it's showing up here but the empress and the emperor is here this is very confusing maybe there's a mother figure and there's a couple so some sort of mother figure your mom or their mom or someone's mom is like the cause of this unhappiness here. All right, you guys. So let's see. Um, I didn't have intentions on clarifying, but I feel like I need to a little bit for you. What is the Eight of Wands spirit? Okay, so the Eight of Wands, the star card and the Hierophant. All right, Aquarius, Taurus, Energy. Uh, four of Pentacles. Somebody here is wanting to communicate with you here, Okay. Could be like a Taurus, like a Taurus and Taurus situation or Taurus. This is you in regards to somebody else. Four of Pentacles, more of your energy. Lover's card, like a somebody's holding back. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you guys are dealing with another earth sign. I keep picking that up. So it could be Taurus, Taurus. It could be however it mixes with another earth sign here. But I feel like maybe you're wanting to communicate to this person, but you know they have their back towards turn towards you or something about this person someone here is very intuitive spiritual um like they know you're trying to deceive them or they see you as deceitful okay and they've let go of this it's almost like you know you don't stand a chance in a situation or vice versa however this is resonating what's this eight of wands 
Okay, but a Taurus could be communi communicating with you or you could be that person. Page of Cups. Yeah, like a new beginning in love. This is also a child. Something about a, a water sign child. I want to say Scorpio, Pisces, um, or Cancer, of course. But child, especially with the Empress card here, like there's a mother. Somebody's, if you are feminine energy, if you are a mother, you're someone's wish fulfillment and they're feeling this way towards you or vice versa. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, like a relationship. Somebody wants something to come back together. Something dealing with a home situation. What is this Four of Swords, but they're not expressing it? What is this Four of Swords? The Moon card, someone's accepting that something's over with, like it's dead and gone. It's no coming back. Eight of Cups. Okay, you or someone else walked away. Again, more Earth sign energy, Taurus energy here. Uh, what else? What else is this for? Look at this, y'all. Knight of Cups and the Judgment. I cannot make this, this up. Like Four of Swords is not making any action towards this, but the moon card with the knight of cups and the judgment, someone wants to make a judgment about you or there's somebody that's been released. Maybe someone wants to apologize for like what they did or ruining you. Somebody is waiting on you. Eight of pentacles, wanted to put in the work, wanted to balance something out. What is this five of pentacles? All right. So we got the two of pentacles wanting to balance something out. Ace of swords, very heavily on their mind. Five of wands, feeling conflicted. Seven of pentacles because they want to nurture this. They want to grow this. They want to move out of this five of pentacles energy left out in the cold, not being, um, not feeling attached to you or having access to you. They want to work on it, but it's like you're already gone. Two of wands, nine of cups, Happiness showing up for somebody here, but someone's happiness is also someone's downfall or someone's misery. Okay, somebody's very worried about this. Knight of Pentacles again could be an earth sign, another earth sign, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, ooh, all right, we got good karma at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. I didn't want these to be long, you guys. We have I love me more, so somebody stepped away from this situation. All right. Foodie was at the bottom of the deck, so something about food or um, it was in a reverse. So you feel like a situation is not nourishing you anymore. Yeah, abort mission. Shocking news at the bottom of the deck. What else? What is this that flipped over? Breakthrough. Wow. Abort mission and breakthrough. Again, foodie in a reverse, so something was not nourishing you. What's going on? Somebody's having like an ego death as well. Like there's someone who's had who's had a death, this damn foodie car, a death and a rebirth, okay, and a good light, good karma, but somebody else is having an ego death here. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you.